Hi everybody, you want to illustrate the relationship between the price elasticity of demand for a product and total revenue for a business. How do you do that diagrammatically? Well, you need to draw two diagrams. On the left, you're going to draw a demand curve which is price elastic. On the right, a demand curve that's price inelastic. And you're going to change prices accordingly and show how total revenue can be maximized. Let's take this left-hand diagram first. We want to label our axis. Price on the y-axis, quantity on the x-axis. You, of course, must apply to relevant markets given the markets in your exam. And you want to draw a demand curve that's pretty price elastic. All right, so quite shallow right here. Take an initial price and call that price P1 and a quantity matching Q1. And now you should understand, and watch my theory video if you don't, that when demand for a product is price elastic, a firm should reduce the price to increase total revenue. So let's show that price reduction uh, from P1 to P2 and the quantity increase from Q1 to Q2. And what we've shown here is that quantity demanded is increasing proportionately more than the price decrease. That's just what price elastic demand is all about. But now we want to make the link to total revenue. So initial total revenue was P1, A, Q1, and 0. If you want to write that above, you can. So initial rev was equal to P1, A, Q1, 0. Worth doing in an exam situation. Whereas new revenue is now price times quantity P2, B, Q2, 0. Okay, so new rev is P2, B, Q2, and 0. Now your job is to show the revenue gains and the revenue losses. You're not going to prove that the gain in revenue is greater than the loss in revenue. So P1, A, Q1, 0 to now P2, B, Q2, 0. Right, this little black bit has remained in terms of revenue. What's been lost is this red box. That's the loss. Whereas the gain is this green box. All right. And you would then label this red bit as revenue loss. But this green bit as the revenue gain. And quite clearly this diagram shows that the revenue gain is much bigger than the revenue loss as a result of a price reduction when there is price elastic demand. Happy days. What about when demand is price inelastic? Well, again, we start by labeling our axis price and quantity, and then we go through exactly the same process. But now we're going to draw a demand curve that's pretty price inelastic, i.e. quite steep. You want to show an initial price, call that P1, and with that price, a quantity of Q1. Again, from my theory video before, you should realize that when demand for a product is price inelastic, a business should raise the price to increase total revenue. So let's show that. Let's take a price rise from P1 to P2, increase that price. And you'll see that demand does decrease, but proportionately less than the price increase. And again, we want to show initial and new revenue. So initial revenue was P1, A, Q1, 0. New revenue is P2, B, Q2, 0. Yeah? Price times quantity to work out revenue. So let's quickly write that in. So initial rev is equal to P1, A, Q1, 0. Whereas new revenue is equal to P2, B, Q2, 0. Do the same thing. What bit of the revenue has remained uh, in both instances? Well, this black bit has. Absolutely. Let's work out a revenue loss, which in this case is this little rectangle here. Whereas our revenue gain is a much bigger box in green. And again, what we do is we label, so we can label that the revenue gain. And we can label this red box the revenue loss. So this is how you do it, guys. The link between price elasticity of demand and total revenue, drawn diagrammatically. Remember your checklist, how we labeled our axis? Yes, we have, beautifully. How we labeled our curves? Yes, we have. Easy to forget that, we haven't done. Have we labeled our equilibrium? We don't have any equilibrium, but we have got prices and quantities to label. We've done that very clearly, and we've shown 
and labelled all the revenue gains, losses, etc. Beautifully done, lovely. Practice this and you'll be absolutely set for your exams. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.